you are not having fun playing Yu-Gi-Oh! And that's okay. I think this is a card that immediately jumps out as like, you read this having no idea like what modern Yu-Gi-Oh! is like, you're like, what the fuck? How are you supposed to play against this? I hate competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! Seriously, I, I, I just can't stand it sometimes. Just quit. I'll quit. I'll quit. Anyway, here's my video about how Yu-Gi-Oh! sucks now and it used to be epic. Is this okay in Yu-Gi-Oh? Is this a game that you'd want to actually like play in? Nothing takes all the emotion and intensity out of a duel with ancient Egyptian monsters than having to stop and read a five paragraph effect. You are not having fun playing Yu-Gi-Oh! And that's okay. I'm a firm believer that your enjoyment of something is based on your personal expectations. If what you're doing doesn't match whatever your expectations are, then you are not going to have fun. I always say people should have realistic expectations, but when you fail to meet certain expectations, you drown in a pool of personal disappointment. 250th YCS in London, I showed up playing a deck that wasn't particularly competitive, but I liked and did way better than I thought I would. And I thought, okay, this is going to light a fire under me. I can't wait to actually get good enough at the game that I can start topping YCSs. I'm going to put in the hours and I sat down to play Cash Tira for YCS Philly and I, I really dissipated within a matter of days. That's like an awful place to be in, right? When people whose job it is to play this game for a living don't want to play the game anymore. No one is perfect. Even the best players in the world, like Jesse Cotton, will struggle and lose to some nobody. A person who makes a career off being a knowledgeable guru in Yu-Gi-Oh! like MBT can lose to some random person who just got into the game in less than a year. A person who considers himself as a veteran duelist who has played the game for years can lose to a brand new player. For as much as people want to make fun of the content creator Nim Nim for being an idiot who is bad at Yu-Gi-Oh!, he's still far better than a majority of duelists out there. So my brother and I play Yu-Gi-Oh! all the time, but we realized it wasn't just going to be enough to play between us two. We wanted to check out what the local competitive scene was like. So we took our first stop at our very first locals at Green Tree Sports Cards. I guess you could call it my original stop. Many, many, many games were played here by a much younger gauge. It's really here that I learned what it is to be a true duelist. I'm about to go on a tangent here, but circle it back to Yu-Gi-Oh! A lot of duelists are nerds who are into anime, video games, comics, and probably watch way too many YouTube videos in their spare time. Many of them happen to develop main character syndrome or imposter syndrome, emulating personality traits from others, thus creating a strange disconnect of who they are versus who they think they are. Too many nerds want to be as charismatic as penguins, they want to be as virtuous as all minor Captain America, they want to be a weird degenerate like the Trash Taste Podcast Boys, they want to be as funny as Deadpool, they want to be an outlier like Mr. Beast, they want to be engaging as PewDiePie or as Markiplier, they want to be outspoken and as interesting as Seto Kaiba, they want to be quirky like XQC. Many of them want to be a winner like their favorite duelists or successful content creators or favorite protagonists from some movie, show, or video game. While this doesn't apply to everyone, there do exist way too many people who are trying to set expectations for themselves into trying to be something that they are not. Then when they fail to meet these expectations, you get disappointment. Too many players tried stepping into competitive Yu-Gi-Oh!, lost, and was so discouraged they ended up giving up or stepping away from the competitive scene. Game sucks right now, the format's uh -huh. bad, yeah, cards are just it. way too oh, powerful, so everything's too of expensive. Course, yeah. it's like, yeah, it's I'm so actually... Game. Enjoying it, so what? what? Enjoying it? You said That's you're enjoying it. I, I super messed I don't up. Recall? Good, because if yeah, you enjoy yeah. this game, Insane. you're crazy. Yeah. Person. This game, this game sucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot. Yeah. Right yeah. on, for sure. I mm -hmm. definitely don't play it and have fun. <laughs> Thank goodness, because I thought we were gonna one. have to kill you. Yeah, for real. Imposter syndrome is prevalent in the Yu-Gi-Oh! community, and the more people address it, the better we will be at addressing people's mental health. A specific duelist that I believe has handled imposter syndrome the best, despite so many people talking down to him, would be Nim Nim, also known as Gage. Gage is a genuinely strange, awkward guy who got notoriety by losing in Seamless Progression series. A power jersey on the Dreadnought Dunker. Oh my god, double damage pierce. Look at his face! Look at his face! Look at his face! Right, Look at his face! Back. Okay. We're gonna hit with the <laughs> Gage out here pulling pen sork and he's like, oh, look at these Cosmo cards. But the spaceships, I love Star Wars. Okay, Gage. He pulled two copies of Pez and he showed up with this shit. Oh, shit. I forgot they have Okay. And I'm going to activate the 
a, a certain talky man and a certain despot girl is ready to pop off and uh, show everyone in the world today how to be complete fucking moral. <laughs> how to be amazing duelist. Sorry, that's what, yeah. Why is she playing this again? There's no way you play this again. I'd rather you play despots. This deck is so bad. He's the butt of so many jokes and memes, with many of his fellow content creators profiting and growing their platforms from his failures. Read any of the comments in the progression series or even in Gage's videos. A lot of people enjoy making fun of the guy, yet the guy does something that many fail to do, and that is he continues to enjoy the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! He actively participates in the game, he continues to get better in the series and in real life in modern gaming, he actively involves himself with other content creators, and in a time when many Yugi tubers are trying to be funny, charismatic, or interesting, Gage is just being himself. He doesn't need some thumbnail or some catchy title to get people to watch him. He is one of the very few people within the Yugi community who seems to be comfortable in their own skin. The guy is trying to be a pro player, actively is studying the game despite dealing with more online abuse than anybody else who plays Yu-Gi-Oh. He recognizes his faults as an inept duelist at times, but he keeps his held up and tries to find enjoyment in Yu-Gi-Oh. He recognizes how good of a duelist he is, and he adjusts his expectations to it. Take this notebook here, and the goal is throughout multiple local tournaments, we're going to fill this entire thing out with nothing but information. Everything's going to be housed in these little pages here. And uh, take some notes if you will. The round one note of the day is that we are, in fact, rusty bro <laughs> I am definitely not up to scuff I gotta keep learning uh, I really felt like I made some suboptimal plays in our first match against Leslie playing trap tricks that is something that a lot of duels struggle to deal with and it leads to burnout if you're not having fun playing Yu-Gi-Oh that is okay if you don't enjoy this format hopefully you can play an alternate format with your friends at your locals or you can just take a step back and play some other game or hobby. The game can be very stressful, and in a game where there's a lot of randomness involved, you are perfectly in the right to feel melancholic or frustrated with the current game environment. If you do want to step back into the current game, I think if more duelists handle their personal expectations like how Gage does it, I do believe that more duelists would be a lot more mentally healthier. Me, like, is that I feel like people can be, like, a little mean to you, uh, and say things that are not nice, but one thing I noticed is that you always take it in stride type of thing. Like, you're still assertive, you know, and you're just like, oh, it, it doesn't seem to bother you. You just seem to be a really good sport about it. But, like, are you okay? I just want to ask you, are you okay? <laughs> that's, that's a really broad question. I'm great, Zara. No, the thing is, like, a lot of people like to rag on me for it, and I'm just so used to it. But, like, the thing is, is the one thing, like, I hope people, like, do it. I, I know a lot of my friends do it in jest and everything like that. And um, anybody that says, like, they're better than me, I can just tell them, you know, shut up. <laughs> like, you're banned. I just ban them. But, yeah. no, I mean, I just take it. It's just, like, there's no use getting mad over people I don't know and anything like that. I think I'm a pretty decent player. Uh, I try to continue to get better at the game. And you know, everybody makes mistakes, but I'm, I'm always learning. That's the big thing. And I never stop learning. For the five years I've been playing the game, I have not stopped learning things, so. Yeah, definitely.